So today's AMA video is because being filmed on Pi Day. It's being filmed on Pi Day. And a lot of people are asking questions, a lot of the same questions, some really funny questions. So we figured we'd kind of compile these uh, common and anomaly type questions in a video. Okay, so the first one. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Do you want to read this? Um, we're not going to say who though, because some people present them privately. If they wanted to ask in public, they would ask. Them. So the first one is that from the initials JT from a guy in California. I'm not going to say his name though. <laughs> the first one. Oh. You would look at the the top first one. Question. That's would be the first. It's a good thing I'm editing. From an anonymous person from California. Question is, if someone steals your van, will that make you homeless? I guess, random guy from California, whoever you are, it might make us homeless. Yeah, it would make us homeless. <laughs> Guys in California. Or you can say the hippie answer, home is where the heart is. Wherever James is, I am there. So that's our home. Bye. Oh, are you going to have a rug or a carpet? It's an odd question. No rug. Not really rug people. Huh? I feel like maybe in the winter time, in the one section, not where we normally come in and out of. It will get demolished with dirt. Probably in the back might not be so bad to yeah. have something to kind of help with the warmth. It all depends on the thing. Probably more likely to be the pelt of a bear once I wrestle it down. Why don't you take on the next question? Where will you pee? Yeah. I can pee where I want to. Because <laughs> I have a penis. I think the question was directed more to me as the woman. Oh. Where will I pee? Nobody asked Spanky that question. Nobody asked the dog that question. So generally speaking, if we're really out on the road, it'll be mostly, hopefully in the middle of nowhere. So I'm not, and during nice weather, so I'm not concerned about peeing outside. Hanging off the back while I'm driving. <laughs> off the side. <laughs> that would be a scary sight to see. Do I get some of that pie? Only the crust, eh? No. Oh, it's got some filling in there. Finishing my pie. None of the delicious, it was a quarter of a pie. It's a small pie. And you're lucky I'm giving you that. What the? What? <laughs> the crust again. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's some crust crumbs. What were you talking about? Oh. Peeing. Where I'm gonna pee. So in the city, okay. we have a gym membership at yeah. Good Life. Yeah. Rest stops, um, nature, campsites. One of the things we are considering is there's a portable, I think, composting toilet or something like that that is good for those emergencies for like, let's just say it's really dark at night or in the middle of the night and you still don't feel like going outside, then there's that. There's which, also the Home Depot bucket trick. Yeah, I, I can't see doing that, but you know, we will learn. We spend a lot of time on pee. It's a big question. Next question. Where will you park? Everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere we Anywhere. Want. Everywhere. So in Hamilton, we have, we're lucky because we have the veterans plates, which allows us to park anywhere on municipal parking. Uh, we have no delusions of grandeur of like parking under the stars, looking at the Milky Way every <laughs> night. We know we're going to be stuck on a street or Walmart, or parking, Walmart lot. parking lots or, or wherever, right? Somebody's driveway. If you think you're going to be sleeping by waterfalls and rainbows every night, yeah. maybe you... So Hamilton is the city of waterfalls. We could be sleeping by a waterfall like 112 days of the year. Maybe we make that one of our goals. Huh? <laughs> oh, this was a cute one. Where will you hang your art? What about pictures? The internet. Instagram. <laughs> Where else do I put my pictures? Oh, I'll ask this one. This one was cute. It was asked by one of my nephews, I won't say who. He said, how will I know where you are? When they told him that we were living, gonna live in a van, and they asked him why, he was like, how will I know where she is? But he was fine when I told him, you can just call me, like, anytime. But, you know, he's little, so it was cute. Are you quitting your job? No. I'm not quitting my job either. Yeah, I'm being retired. <laughs> I like my job, I like the people that I work with, and I like the money for the work that I do. I feel good about it. So if any of that changes, then I'll quit my job. That's why we're living the life that we are living because I am free to make those choices. So should any of those things change and I want them to change, then I'll change them. But right now, no, no reason to. 
Uh, this one is a good one because I don't know the answer to that one. Where will you get? Where will your mail get sent? You need to have a permanent address voting. <coughs> UPS. Somebody asked about the census. I don't know that would apply to us anymore. It should. Anyways, there are mail forwarding services that we can apply. We can do like there's a number of options, but we haven't decided yet. So. What are you doing with your desk chair? That is the chair James is on. What was the question again? <laughs> desk chair. Yeah, the thing I'm talking about. <laughs> We sold one and I'm bringing the other one to work. It'll be my desk chair. <laughs> Isn't it difficult to get rid of all your stuff? No. Like difficult to get rid of it emotionally? Absolutely not. Is it difficult to sell it? It's tricky because you have to go a number of different avenues. The GG, Craigslist, insert, you know, for sale site here, consignment stores, stuff like that. Where we stored Spanky's dog food. Right next to where we store our food. Yeah, like another one kind of goes with this was well, you have you'll have cabinets, and I was like, yes, we're building furniture. There's cabinets yeah. and storage and a bed and couch. Yeah. And... Just finished the upper cabinets yeah, yesterday. They look awesome. So coming together, fingers crossed. All the main cabinetry yeah. will be done tomorrow. Not How right. did you pick out what van to live in? Um, hours of reading online, <laughs> comparisons. Um, what can handle load? What's decent on fuel mileage? Size. What will give us the most space for Zoe to stand up in? I wore it today so that I would feel taller. Cool. Yeah, so all, there's a number of factors that went into it, and ultimately we decided on the Sprinter van because it had that. We went with the Dodge 2006 because it has the Mercedes engine in it, and that thing's supposed to be rock solid. Everything seems to be okie dokie so far. So, yeah. What does the TCP stand for in your logo? It's not a TCP. Those are, but it's, I can see why it would look that way. And they are runes, Viking runes and they each have a meaning. The basic underlying meaning of each one is a word, so courage, focus, and discipline. Three words that James and I focus on in the kind of people we want to be and the kind of life we want to have. And we named our van Van Hala. Slow-mo Spanky. Oh yeah. Somebody pointed out that the Spank, you know Spanky's YouTube video? You know when she's sitting outside and the wind is blowing in her hair? It's yeah. before she had her hair cut. Somebody said that we need to, that we should have done that part in slow-mo. And I just thought that was a really good idea. So I'm going to create a clip and insert it probably now. What will you do for interwebs? I'm working on it. What about alone time once you guys get sick of each other? No, because it's a constant state of being. I just hate it. Yeah. It's essentially like being in medieval England, sitting in an Iron Maiden. Oh. But the reality of it, she'll she'll be at work most of the day anyway, so it's not going to I'm not off saying my words. answer now. What were you going to say? Basically that. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I just feel the, the sappy part. <laughs> Excuse me. Go on. Is that from your heart? <laughs> Is it from your heart or from your heart? Oh my god, that's, that's so inappropriate. That pretty much sums it up, right? All right. Where will you keep enough wine and beer to keep you happy? In my belly. Yeah. Uh, when is your first dinner party? Wait, um, wait, wait. When is your first dinner party? Wink! That's a sarcastic question, my friend. We can figure out how to do a dinner party. Oh, we most certainly can. We've already kind of thought about it. Wink! Follow up oh. to this question was, somebody asked if they could be invited. Invitation no. pending. This person is going to be there. Invitation pending. That's the person. I know. <laughs> You'll get his invitation. Yeah. Is it heated when you sleep? Oh, Have yeah. you met James? Yeah. He's like a friggin' heat bucket. When I went to Nova Scotia and it was minus 10 or so, yeah, it was pretty good sleeping. <laughs> I think the main thing we have to watch out for is condensation in the van from the heat. Well, the hot air. I guess that's that for them. There are questions there. What do we do now? It being pie day, I'm gonna go have another piece of pie. Good. Yeah.